So it's now uh, Sunday, we're getting back on the Z06 project. Uh, here's where we left off Friday night. Basically, the uh, cam plate there, the fasteners in it were way, way, way over torqued or they're the wrong fasteners. Not really sure what's going on, but basically couldn't get them out. Um, you could, I don't, I don't know how well you can make this out, but on this one you could see it's not even seated. It's supposed to be a countersunk plate with uh, the bolt and they're obviously supposed to be flush. This one's like kind of cocked and not even seated fully into the plate. Um, the one we did get out, I don't know if I'll be able to show this on camera, but the end of the threads are like rolled over. Um, so I don't know if it was like way over tightened or these are these are too long and not even the right fasteners. Um, I don't really know what's going on with this stuff here. So if you look at the manual, um, if you have style four, which is the Torx uh, bolt, this style countersunk plate, they're only supposed to be torqued to 11 foot pounds. And I mean, we had super long uh, arm ratchet. We even used the half inch one. We were putting some things and basically the uh, the Torx uh, basically just kind of came apart and there's really nothing we could do. We even tried thinking that, oh, well maybe they used the permanent Loctite that has to be removed with heat. So we used the oxyacetylene torch um, to put some heat into the bolt to break the Loctite down and that didn't work. So, um, now what my plan is to try and do is to cut basically a slot into the bolt head here and then use a, a manual impact driver to uh, put a bit into and try and knock that that bolt loose and if that doesn't work we're basically just going to have to drill out the heads on the bolts here until we get the cam plate out and then we'll just have the the bolt kind of stud remaining and then hopefully we could extract those out with maybe a pair of vice clip grips or uh, uh chisel and punch or something like that so uh yeah that's what we're going to try and tackle this morning and uh hopefully we're able to get the uh the cam out so let's let's see what we can do Our first attempt with the impact driver failed. We actually broke the bit. So that didn't work out. And then we moved to the drilling option. We started with a uh, 3 16 in the center of the torque pit, walked our way up to 5 16 And then uh, basically once we got to that point, the, uh, the head just kind of separated off. See there. Got two more to go, and then hopefully we'll be able to pull the plate off. the next uh, head out. One more to go.
the cam. It's some type of comp cam, so we don't know what really the uh, number is stamped on here because they don't have like the duration or lift or anything like that. And it just says a 115, so I'm guessing that's the LSA. So we might look this up to see what it is. And for the bolts, pretty much where we got it drilled right now, um, it's pretty much flush because you had to eat the whole counter sink out in order to get the plate. So these are gonna have to be uh, drilled and then extracted um, and hopefully will come come out. So we'll see, uh, see that in the next step here. The cam is out. Uh, we're gonna take a little pit break to run out and get some coffee to uh, get our grind back in so we can drill these bolts out. We're gonna take a rip in uh, the truck, head up to Duncan, grab some coffee. Boost kicks in, it's like slingshots you in the seat. Yeah. It's got a little turbo lag, but it. Oh, well, yeah, if you're trying to spool something that size, oh, we're gonna make it right. Make it right? Yeah. in the cam gallery. <laughs> Dude, help. He's way too long in bolts, bro. Yeah, that's why Same thing, look, that's it's all it's all mushroomed over yeah. in the end, the last couple threads. Yeah. These are not the right bolts. No. That's why the comp one as a souvenir. Yeah. Put that in the wall. All right, we got the first one out. Um, ended up drilling it with three sixteenths and then uh, moved up to the 1364s and kind of right as it started biting in um, I saw it, it start to spin a little bit so I shifted to the uh, extractor these are really really good set it's a it's a proto set and the extractors are actually um, square they're not like those little uh, corkscrew style ones and these bite in really really good um, here's the the extracted piece and you can see the same thing, the last couple threads are like totally mushroomed and rolled over, which makes us lead to believe these are not the right bolts and they're probably too long. But we got it out clean, there's no damage to the, the block, the existing threads put the cam plate back in, so that's really good. And we're gonna keep moving on and we got two more to go. All right, we got another one. Same thing. Rolled, rolled the last couple threads over. Now I probably have to pull that out with some pliers or something. Yeah, I'll just last one out. Oh, shit. Suction. <laughs> I feel like at the dentist office. <laughs>
this one just wasn't quite as dead center as the others. Yeah, yeah there we go. We got it. So the secret to these, uh, these extractors here, or really doing any kind of extractors, is the goal is to drill out enough meat out of the broken bolt that you kind of weaken the sidewall of it and then it just kind of comes out. Because if you drill too small of a pilot hole in here, uh, more than likely if the bolt is kind of seized, uh, you're just going to break the extractor bit off. So if you take enough meat out of this wall, then it's just going to be able to come right out. So that's kind of the trick there to doing these. And here's our failed attempt doing the, uh, the impact bit that didn't work. And we actually broke the bit off. You can see here.